Revolutionary Greetings, comrades. It's the 27th of October, 2024. We continue with our discussion on Red Sunday. It's a Red Sunday uh, on what is to be done. In the previous videos, we've uh, dealt with the question of building a mass movement rooted in the ideals of the liberation struggle. We have uh, spoken about the need to use social media as a tool of mobilizing the mass of the people. We have discussed the issue of political education on what we need to take to the masses as part of political education. In this video, we are talking about the building unit among us, the mass of the people of Zimbabwe. In the last video, on the question what is to be done in the Zimbabwean context, uh, we are going to be talking about building uh, an international solidarity uh, movement amongst uh, progressive forces. In a separate video, we are going to discuss the ZANU-PF uh, conference, which has just concluded in Bulawayo. There is a discussion on whether President Emerson Nangagwa should continue beyond 2028 as, as the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. So, in what is to be done, <clears throat> as I've already outlined, we have said, let us build a mass movement rooted in the ideas of the liberation struggle. Let us use social media as a tool of mobilizing the mass of the people. Let us intensify political education. Let us build units unit amongst the mass of the people. Let us build a strong international solidarity movement among us, the progressive forces. So what do we mean when we say build unit among us, the, the, the mass of the people in Zimbabwe? There are five points that, that we have identified because it, is, it should not just be an empty statement or a slogan to say let us build unity. But we need to understand what exactly do we mean. The first, first point that we are raising in building unit amongst the people of Zimbabwe, which links to the, to the political education which we spoke about in the previous video. We must first and foremost accept that we are a class, that the majority of Zimbabweans belong to the working class and peasantry. It is therefore important because there are some that view themselves, some workers view themselves not as part of the working class. Uh, when, when you talk of dismantling capitalism, uh, I've seen in social media platforms, uh, it's strange that some workers, because of political ignorance, they would be saying capitalism is the way to go. So it is important in what is to be done in building unit among us, the people of Zimbabwe, that we must first and foremost accept that we are a class, we are the proletariat, we are the peasantry. As such, we constitute the majority in Zimbabwe. Second point that, that we are raising in building unit among us, the people of Zimbabwe, is that we must accept that uh, we are different, right? Uh, uh, in this case, we mean that we must accept that uh, we are different ethnic groups, we have got different cultures, we have different traditions, we speak different languages, but we must celebrate our diversity. It's important that we must, must recognize that yes, we are different, but we are one people flowing from the national question which we have discussed in this platform is that we are one people, the people of Zimbabwe. I came under a lot of fire and I'm still uh, uh, receiving negative messages when I say it, correctly so, that uh, the Shona and the Ndevele are one people, meaning we are all Zimbabweans. We speak different languages. We have different cultures. But we are one people in as far as the national question is concerned. We all belong to Zimbabwe. So if we all belong to Zimbabwe, we are, we are one people. Therefore, we need to recognize our different cultures, respect each one's culture, and celebrate our diversity. By so doing, we build unit among ourselves as the people. 
we must respect which is linked to point number three point number which is linked to point number two we must respect one's language the constitution of zimbabwe provides for 16 official languages we must respect each one's language if we are to build unit amongst the people of zimbabwe we must not undermine one's language we must not undermine one's culture we must not undermine one's tradition if we are to build unity amongst the people of zimbabwe linked to this the majority of zimbabweans are religious people uh, some believe in african spirituality some in, in christianity a Muslim and other religious uh, 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 beliefs or religious organizations. We must respect such. When, when we, we established, we established in the Zimbabwe Communist Party, we went all out to recruit. Uh, in the course of our internal discussion in the party, when, when we're discussing what we call Leninist tools of analysis, right on how we analyze society using historical materialism and dialectics some comrades in the part then felt that uh, no 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 comrades were antichrist some they left regrettably they left but of course others understood uh, who are pastors and i must confess that we have in the Zimbabwe Communist Party, comrades that are pastors, right? Comrades that every Sunday, it's a Sunday today, that go to church. We respect their religion. We say that religion is a private matter. It should not be a police of the party to say we don't agree with the religion, right? Uh, because the majority of the working class, the majority of the peasant, who should be part of the revolution in dismantling Zanuism, in dismantling neocolonialism, in pushing back the expansion of imperialism, are religious people. It is therefore important that if we are to build a unit amongst the people of Zimbabwe, we must accept that they are members of the Zimbabwe Communist Party, that they are members or they are Zimbabwe or the majority of Zimbabweans are religious people. And they should, their religion should be respected, whether it's African spiritualism, whether it's Christianity or any other faith. We must respect that if we are to build unity amongst the people of Zimbabwe. The last point in, in a building unit amongst the mass of the people is that uh, we must identify common struggles in Zimbabwe. When I was growing up, there was this phrase, uh, Maswingo ne carpet, meaning that uh, the roads in Maswingo are neat. So when I was a young boy, I had not traveled outside uh, uh, my region. I was only confined to my district where I did my schooling, then I went to Bulawayo. So I was not exposed. So as I was growing up, I had this perception that outside Matebele, it was highly developed because of that phrase, Maswingo Nekapet. But when I get exposed to uh, the entire Zimbabwe, when I tried started uh, uh, traveling across the length and breadth of Zimbabwe, it is then that I realized that we are all victims of Zanuism. This is why it is critical, therefore, that we must build a unit amongst the people of Zimbabwe, meaning that we must identify our common struggles. Our common struggles, just, just, just to conclude, is that there is massive unemployment in Zimbabwe. There is poverty in Zimbabwe. The economy has collapsed. 
There is no tribe that benefits more than the other. So it's important that uh, 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 we identify these common struggles in Zimbabwe and then build this unity. Because without us building this unity, we will not be able to dismantle Zanuism as a political, economic, and social ideology. Social ideology. Please write in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, Amanda Comrades.